<laughs> Grammys, man. Grammys. Killer Mike. Y'all been around me if y'all been listening to the podcast, Uncut is Tall, Beats and Mics, and y'all know I've been saying it. Killer Mike. Album Since that. this album dropped, yes. you been saying that. <laughs> Since this album dropped, you said it from day one. And I was like, you're right. And 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 even though King's Disease 3 was nominated too, I was still like, yes, Killer Mike album. I love King's Disease, is my, King's Disease 3 is my favorite out of the um, trilogy. And that's the one with the 5 yeah. RB sample, ain't it? Yeah, that's, mm-hmm. the, one. that's mm-hmm. the one. That's it. Mm-hmm. Uh, this was even my favorite album of the year as far as when we did our little 2023 albums of the year, songs of the year, and whatever. But outside of him, just really even winning album of the year, he won song of the year, rap song of the year, too. Mm-hmm. And what was the last one he won? Because it was three uh, all together. Was it best rap performance? Yeah, rap performance. That's what. Okay. Of course, it was a controversy. Um, one of these was supposed to go to Nicki Minaj, and I think it was rap song Nicki Minaj mm-hmm. and Ice Spice song Barbie World. But I don't see how it was any controversy when they said, Oops, my bad. This was actually supposed to go to scientists and engineers, which was Killer Mike, Andre 3000. I forgot who else was on here, but I was like, Yeah, <laughs> y'all right, <laughs> that's absolutely right. TikTokers are exposing themselves for not being real hip hop heads because ain't no fucking way. You can be like, who the fuck is killing my... No, I don't give a fuck how young you are. It don't matter. If you really about that hip-hop life, you know who these people are. Period. they about the younger or the newer generation of hip-hop. Okay, okay, but the the newer generations, they okay, so but they still like Outcast. They like Andre, they like Outcast, but you couldn't link Killer Mike to Outcast, the Dungeon family, to all that shit. It's all but that that's what I mean. They're not digging in the fucking crates. Like you know I know five that, EPMD songs. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just, that's they what were I'm on saying, King, No, they were on King's Disease too. I'm not look, but see, I'm gonna go back and look. Even though, even though, probably prior to them being on KD two, I didn't know them like that. But I was like, oh, so this is an older group, blah blah blah. I'm not oh, gonna no. go and disrespect them and be like, who? They don't deserve this. This ain't real. See, I get you right there. How dare that's, they? I get you you right know there. what I mean? Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. You know, I'm going to go do some yeah, research so, before so. I make myself look stupid. But no, these people want to jump online and be like, who? Who is Killer Mike? You not digging in the crates. And they probably don't even understand that fucking reference, reference either. <laughs> like, what the fuck you mean digging in the crates? Like, ah, oh, God. Do some fuck. You can't tell me that you love hip-hop and you don't understand the fucking lingo. And see, this is what it is about the new generation. They don't love hip hop like we love hip hop. And what I mean by that is they don't go back and appreciate the older shit. They shit on the older shit and say that they are better artists. And I'm like, y'all are more creative and y'all have more control and more access to shit. But y'all are definitely not. No, nobody's better than anybody. It's an evolution. It's but it. they just want because <clears throat> the fact nah. that we'll take the time to listen to this new shit and some of it is not good, even with these yeah. animals that we're gonna take the time to listen to, that's a fact. So once y'all take the time to go back and listen to some of this good music that you might get some appreciation to. And the fact that Killer Mike, this album ain't sounding old. This got some it don't, not not one bit. It's got um artists on here that are relatively new and people that are still re- got relevance as far as like two chains currency. Aren't mm-hmm. fifty thousand young thug, young nudie people that is new out here that he got on here from Atlanta, showing you that he's actually somebody that got an ear out for newer artists, and y'all can't go back and listen to him. And one of those people being Cosinet, because he was kind mm-hmm. of the one that was upset with him winning a Grammy over Travis Scott Utopia, <laughs> which that album was not like. And this is the shit I be talking about. I'm like, what the fuck are y'all? Like, I listen to these See, albums. I listen so to these albums. Thank you. It was, JG. In overrated. our opinion. In our opinion. <laughs> yeah, it's something yeah, like, it is. fast forward music right now, Tony. It's something that you can't really get to stick to you right now. That shit is in your ear and out. 
But yep. um, as far as the situation with Casanet, shout out to Joe Button because he was saying shit like, I'm tired of you little niggas. <laughs> and the whole situation with Travis Scott because Travis Scott had a performance and he was pretty much uh, saying something about they've been sleeping on me for 10 times because, you know, he had a bunch of nominations that he hadn't really necessarily won yet. But as mm-hmm. far as this category, this time, Travis, you weren't supposed to win this, brother. I'm sorry. You was not supposed to win this album of the year as far as rap. No. It's definitely <clears throat> supposed to go to Killer Mike. The production behind this, no ID, some more people, some uh, uh, down south produ- uh, producers or whatever, but no ID was one of those ones that stuck out to me. And even with the uh, features that was on here. But yeah. I will say this. The younger generation might feel like that utopia sound as far as what Travis Scott do. That's like, man, that's a classic. That that fiend, fiend, shout out to Joe Black. <laughs> he said, you sitting on stage talking about that fiend, fiend, like that shit was better than Travis, I mean, Killer Mike. Hell no. By the way, I think fiend is a good song. I like fiend. But the whole thing with, uh, he said, you blung out this mystery nigga with this mask on, Playboy Cardi. This ain't Coachella. This is the Grand. <laughs> I didn't know who he was until they said something. And I'm still not relatively like known to Playboy Cardi. I still kind of don't know who he is. I but can't yeah. get into his stuff. It's it's not for me. It's not for me. How do y'all feel as far as Killer Mike winning these Grammys? Three. I was on I mean, he deserved it. I mean, this man been killing the game since day one. He's hey, y'all listen to that album, Mike. Times, but yeah. <laughs> no. They did not. Of course. Of course. Why? Because... Why? Why? Yeah. Oh, why? I just never came across it. Didn't really care. <laughs> as much as we didn't talk about it, you you never thought, hmm, maybe I should listen to that album. You that start night. fucking up. Honestly, nope. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you know, yeah. All our music tastes don't mean shit to him because we say sexy legs. I know it's not okay. a music person like that. I just don't think. I <laughs> just don't mess with music like that. Oh yeah, same. And if you do, do, it's old nostalgia. school music. You stuck on nostalgia. I'm, I'm, I'm old school though. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm, 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 I'm well, Killer Mike ain't Killer Mike ain't like that. <laughs> you can't yeah. appreciate this is Killer our Mike generation, Anzo. Exactly. Somewhat. Um, Anzo like eighty eight, the way he be talking. <laughs> well, you know, Anzo is about twenty years older than us, so you know. Man, that man ain't that old well, man. He like well, rapping. Well. So they was talking about some. I went to the hat store today and I got myself. A- <laughs> <laughs> Woke up on, down the street and seen some wow. kids waving. And I went out some candy, candy, but then I got, got arrested. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Get my soul good. Oh yeah, you tell yeah. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Boop, bop, bitty, beat. <laughs> no, better. <laughs> <laughs> no, better than anything Killer Mike is doing right now. <laughs> that is a lie, brother. I to can the tell you that. The hip, to the hip, to the hip, hip hop, better than Killer Mike. All day, every day. 100%. Anyway, um, I want to spin on his head. The right Grammys now. got it wrong. SOS should have been album of the year. Oh man, what? kiss my ass or what? <laughs> Grammys always like, get it wrong. That's why it's no, it's no validation, right? None whatsoever. <laughs> and if you, honestly, I just seen a Chris Bound video where he was talking about it. He's like, it's it don't mean nothing, especially when. You have an artist who has won 32 Grammys but never won album of the year. No, man, Beyonce. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Wait, wait. That, that, oh, we've been Chris Brown don't have no Grammy, do he? Chris Brown has Grammy. I think he do. Yeah, he got yeah. Grammys. He do. Yeah, Chris Brown has Grammys. He do? He yeah. definitely got some. Yeah, he do. I think I'm not, that song I'm step for that Michael Jackson song, too. I, I, was say, I wasn't there. saying I wasn't saying it like that. I just want to see. I, I I gotta look and see. Um, cause uh, they ain't gonna get that nigga no more, yeah. ever again. So, sir, I, what he made. Look, see, uh, in all you honesty, think that you actually 